And I'm going to be right here, and this ball is going to be right here. Now, I'm going to give you two examples, because kind of few. So, I'm going to be the force that kicks it more, because my leg weighs more. And my fist at this ball is going to be the lesser force. Demonstration. See how I nearly broke stuff? That's because I hit it. Hit it really well. Punch. That is the second law. To the third one. Action and react. Now it's time to refer to some notes. Obvious. Alright, alright. Time to refer to some notes, baby. Woo! There's an equal and opposite reaction. Now that should sound familiar. For those of you who've heard this before or in school, you've heard this before. That's because it's the third law, which means if I am to push this, if I am to lift this notebook this way, the notebook actually, no. Let's do something a bit more. I'm about 10 seconds from just throwing somebody onto the ground. Well, my, as you know, people will put their hand like this. Right now, I'm putting force on the wall. Right now, I'm putting force on this man's chest because I'm stopping him from moving. This is a don't do this kids at home too. But I'm pushing on this guy, right? I'm putting a certain amount of force on this guy's chest. And this guy's chest is putting little to no force to not break. And move backwards but even then it'd still be forced because i can't jump like say for another instance i can't jump without the friction see it's all about friction that was a bad example and i didn't speak it well but hey it's hard so friction right Friction is when you put something and rub it against you. Or you, for example. Let's say I move my foot across the floor, walking towards you as such. That was friction. So what does that have to do with the law, you may say? What does that have to do with the law, Christian? Well, I'll tell you. Uh-huh. The amount of force I was just putting on the ground to move myself forward is most likely half, but that doesn't matter because the amount of force I'm putting on the ground to move forward, that force is basically repelling me. Just like, not like, get off me, repelling. Or not like, may the force not be with you. 
broke up. You know? So that's basically all that I have to tell you. So, let's get an overview. The first law. This Chromebook did not want to open up. But I did anyway. Because of the law of inertia. So let's state the three laws, shall we? Law one. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. And an object in motion will stay at motion until and also at the same speed in the same direction until acted on by an unbalanced force. The second law, acceler acceleration happens only when a force or if ac acceleration for an object only happens when a force is acting on it and based off that mass, that weight. And it's based off of that. So acceleration, basically, to dumb it down, because that's a little tricky one. Acceleration only have you can only accelerate. No, actually. And so let's dumb it down for you guys. Acceleration only happens if the force and the mass equal. Or the force, well, basically like the formula of force equals mass times acceleration. Which is the formula, by the way. I forgot to mention that, but shh, don't tell me about it. So, the last one being action does not happen with our reaction. And which means, in that law, exactly states. That for every action, there is an equal and an opposite reaction. So a balanced force and an unbalanced force acting on each other. That's basically all you need to know for Newton's laws. Thank you for watching this 18 minute or say video. And I will see you next time and I hope I was able to explain it better for you guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Milky and that's basically it. Like and subscribe. Bye!